Oh, hello, buddy. This is Sergey Epic here, and welcome to my all new comic call number 72. That is right, I'm back from the all new comic call. It's pretty late at night, so I'm gonna try not to be too loud, but yeah, um, I'm gonna try not to be too loud. I'm gonna try to make this quick, but I actually have a lot of comics, and yet again, even some manga. So, this is my all new comic, and in brackets, it's gonna say manga haul uh, number 72. Uh, starting to get more in the manga, um, just kind of celebrating, and uh, there are certain series that I've wanted to get that I've been getting, and I decided to give in this haul a new series a shot, as we'll get to in a second here. Um, so first, I got these manga at some point, I can't even remember when I got these manga now, which is sad, I got them Monday, got these manga Monday, haven't been able to touch them since, which has been driving me crazy, but I just finished, uh, the volume before one of the fins here and then i got these comics on wednesday question mark i think it was wednesday yeah it would have had to been it was would have had to been tuesday or wednesday it must have been wednesday yeah and then i got to this huge stack tonight friday night Friday the 29th, which it still is. It hasn't quite reached midnight yet, but it's about to be the 30th. But, yeah, I got this huge-ass stack tonight. Um, on comics, I spent, like, 3.30, basically. No. Yeah, basically 3.30. And on manga, I spent, like, 40 bucks. So, yeah, I spent like 370 in this haul which yeah <laughs> so yeah it's a big haul um so we're gonna go and get it into this haul and we're gonna get uh, go right to the manga first um so i decided to give this new series a shot that's two volumes in now um started last month and it's gotten it's been monthly last month and this month got two volumes out already and it's only 11.99 canadian it's a cheaper manga so it's and it looks the it, the idea sounded interesting it looks pretty good so i decided that i was gonna give it a shot it looks and sounds pretty good so i'm gonna give it a shot with these first two volumes and i'm hoping that i love it hoping that i really like it so yeah i got after hours volume one and after hours volume two um by fizz yeah it's by fizz media so yeah um, pretty excited. I don't know when Volume 3 is coming out. I don't even know if I like this yet. I've been waiting to read this all week. I've been excited to get to it, but I was also reading another manga I, I was reading, and I finished off to Google Volume 2. I finished it off yesterday, so I'm I'm pretty excited. Um, I've, yeah, what have I been reading lately? I've been reading some New Age of Heroes stuff. I read another issue, issue 14 of Darth Vader. I read and reviewed on League of Comic Geeks. I read Sansa number one again and reviewed it. Uh, I read Sideways number three. Finally read a new issue of that and reviewed it. Uh, I've read, reread and reviewed Terrifics one and two. Um, what have I been reading? Um, and well, the big one was I read the first two issues of Bloodshot Salvation. Um, I read one Wednesday and one yesterday. So yeah. Uh, now we're gonna get right into the comics and uh for this first stack that i got wednesday i only have one dc comic and then the rest is lily marvel so yeah not the most friday there's literally only one not marvel and dc book and it's this one you see here in this whole haul so it's kind of a little sad but it's kind of needed it <laughs> because i'm actually like i have so much marvel stuff it's ridiculous so this haul kind of focuses more on marvel i guess though i have a fair amount of dc i guess in it too and I, you really see everything um but yeah um, oh yeah, I did get a fair amount of DC actually, so I, uh, got the priority items that I wanted to get in this haul. Um, but the first comic of the haul is The Man of Steel, issue number 5 of 6. Still been up to date and weekly with this series, and I still haven't read any of it, but at least I have the issues, right? <laughs> but yeah, I have Man of Steel, number 5 of 6. Um, this one's been sitting in my bag for a little bit now. Actually, it's only literally been a couple weeks, but uh, I, I was going to get it right away, but I decided I wasn't. It wasn't too much of a worried hassle to get it, that I wouldn't get it right away. But I got the Weekend Percent Starboy, Falling 1, Issue 1. Um, 
I'm interested to see where this one goes. I have no clue what's happening here, but I'll give it a shot because it might be a book that goes for something in the future. Who knows? Um, I also, one of my priorities to get this past week, yeah, I got these Wednesday because I got some new comics in the stack. Um, one of my priorities for this week, I got a lot of new comics actually. A decent amount of new comics, I mean. Uh, I got X-Men Blue issue number 30. Uh, so now I have 30 of each blue and gold. And it was also revealed with the new uh, previews for September that X-Men Blue and Gold will both be in at issue number 36. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. So they're probably going to roll into Uncanny. I got to get rereading and reviewing these real soon. Um, and for the rest of this haul, besides the last two comics, um, I caught up on hunt for on the Hunt for Wolverine item. So I got all the issue number twos and number one second prints of Hunt for Wolverine of all the miniseries. So I got Weapon Loss, number one second print variant. I got number two regular cover and number two uh, variant. I got the Adamantium Agenda number one second print, which isn't too different, but it was, yeah, it's changed enough. I still wanted to get it. Uh, I haven't even read any Hunt for Wolverine still, and I haven't caught up on reread and been ca catching up on Infinity Countdown either. I got the Adamantium Agenda number two regular cover and number two Silver variant, which I love this cover. I got Hunt for Wolverine Claws of a Killer number one second print. Number two regular cover and number two variant, which is eh. Got Hunt for Wolverine, Mystery of Magipore, number one second print. I can't wait for all these Hunt for Wolverine titles to be over and just for him to be back already, honestly. Number two regular cover and number two variant, which people seem to like this variant in the in the shop. Townsend variant. And then to end off this stack, I got a couple new number ones from this week. I got Multiple Man number one of five, The Return of Multiple Man. Uh, by Ro it's by Matthew Rosenberg. Um, so I tend to lo lo really like his work. So I decided to pick it up. Speaking of his work, I need to catch up and reread and catch up on his Punisher. I haven't bought his Punisher in a bit. I think I have a couple issues that I have to read. Um, but yeah, still. And the other number one, new number one I got is one I've been waiting for for a long time. I'm really excited for and it's actually already on my pull list. It's been sitting on my pull list for a while before it's come out. And that was The Sentry, issue number one, which is an ongoing by Jeff Lemire and Kim Jacinto. A pretty great creative team. Kim Jacinto did some work on Avengers No Surrender, of course. And Jeff Lemire has done a ton of great stuff from Old Man Logan um to thanos which i only wrote one issue of to his moon knight's apparently great but i haven't read of course because god forbid my shop have the issues um but to gideon falls first two issues were great so i have to reread and review those on the call geeks so i can catch up also but yeah great stuff here uh ho hopefully great stuff here i open i opened all these books up and looked in them and most of them look good but this one looked especially good so i can't wait to read this one this one probably get read real soon, honestly. I don't know what I'm going to read tonight, but i got to read something. I haven't read anything today, well, because I worked firstly, but yeah. haven't had time to be reading this much. Moving on, though, to this stack, this big stack I got tonight. The first book I got was... I got this one because it was a dollar cheaper, and I i mean, it's about time I get it out anyway, and yeah, came out the first week of May, it's about time I get it. Um, number two is coming out. In like a couple weeks, so yeah. I got Betty and Franca Friends Forever at the movies, number one. So yeah. And I finally got the priority book that I wanted to get. I finally caught up on Wildstorm Michael Cray and actually Wildstorm itself too. So yeah, I got Wildstorm Michael Cray, number four, regular cover and variants. I have to reread the first three issues. It's literally been so long. Been since January, since December. <laughs> December or January since I read it. Wow. And I mean, I just want to reread them so I can review them on League of Con Geeks. I have my, well, it's on Michael Cray, number five, regular cover and variant cover. 
This series looks like it's kind of all over the place, but I don't know. Wild Star Micro Creation number six, regular cover and variant cover. You, you, you guys probably have thought I gave up on the series if you've been following me for a while. Wild Star Micro Creation number seven, regular cover and variant cover. And as of issue number eight, they've decided to only do one cover of Wild Star Micro Creation, probably because the sales aren't good enough to do two. And I got Wild Star Micro Creation number eight, so now I'm caught up, thank God. And it's only a 12 issue mini, so yes. <laughs> this <laughs> this one's a 24 issue maxi. I got the Wild Storm. We're over halfway through now, though, so that's good. Got the Wild. Um, this as of this haul, though, I'm four issues behind, and I'm gonna reread and review them on League Tongi. So yeah, It'll be a while till I get to these, probably. The Wild Storm issue number 13, regular cover and variant cover, and the Wild Storm issue number 14, regular cover and variant cover. Fair child. In this issue. I got more DC books, obviously, in this stack. Uh, I'm I've got the full month of June's uh, New Age of Heroes issues now. I'm caught up. I got the Terrifics issue number five. Uh, I got so now I have three issues to read of Terrifics, and I'm rereading two issues of Sansa, and then have three issues to read because uh, I got Sansa issue number six. Of course, my favorite New Age of Heroes title so far. Although Immortal Man is getting up there, Christopher Brimstone's pretty good. Damn, she's good. <sighs> I mean, they're all they're all actually pretty good. My least favorite's probably still Sideways, but yeah, I, I actually like Sideways now too. So yeah, uh, the un, the unexpected was really good actually. Uh, new challenges have been great. I, I that was the other one I read. I well, I read Damage number six, read and reviewed that, and I also read New Challenges number two, and I reviewed that also. Those were the two important New Age of Heroes titles. I forgot to tell you that I read and reviewed, so I'm up to date on those two series still: New Challengers and Damage. So at least I'm caught up on those two, um, and I'm caught up on Immortal Man and Christopher Stone also. So I'm caught up on half the New Age of Heroes titles. Just gotta catch up on Sideways, Silencer, Terrifics. And I'm I'm up to date on unexpected of course only one issue is out so I'm caught up on over half actually so I just need to catch up on Sans or Terrifics and Sideways on three titles so yeah which hopefully will get done soon maybe I can focus on that tonight we'll see a little tonight I mean uh, I might just read some manga tonight to be honest I might just start after hours because I've been waiting for so long honestly I might just give in and do it and I don't really feel like reviewing anything tonight anyway so it'd probably be better to just review comics in the morning. After I read them. Uh, speaking of one that stuff that'll probably get read soon, I got Batman Detective Comics. Uh, this week's issue, number nine eighty three, on the outside, part one. The new creative teams on the book, guest star in Black Lightning. New creative team, first issue with the new creative team, outnumbered and note gun. Got the regular cover and the beautiful variant by um. I, I somehow forget his name, Mark Brooks. Yeah, Mark Brooks, beautiful cover. Uh, that was the last DC book that Detective will probably get read soon. I, I read and reviewed the last issue of Detective, uh, by the way, and if you haven't seen that and interested, you'll have to go see. It only got three out of five stars. I liked it, but it wasn't overly anything special, and I wasn't too impressed, really, um, but it was still good. Um, but moving on to the Marvel now, um, first we're going to start off with a regular cover that I just got because I wanted to get it out. I got Old Man Hawkeye issue number three, second print. I didn't get uh, any old, I didn't catch up on Old Man Hawkeye. I just got the one cover there because I wanted to get it out. Um, I got Offenders number two, second print, but I also got Offenders number three. Um, so this will probably be read soon because I've read and reviewed both issues of Offenders to come out. Uh, for this new volume so far, so I'm gonna keep doing that, of course, with issue number three. Um, I got Doctor Strange issue number two. Um, actually, I haven't read number one yet, so I've started to do that. We'll see when that happens. That might happen between tonight and tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, I also got Ant Man and the Wasp number two of five. Um, so, yes. Haven't read number one of this either, or the Living Legends one shots. I caught up on Marvel two and one. I got issue number five, a regular cover and Phantom Thirty Fan First Three variants. I got issue number six. I have to reread and review the first four issues before I can catch up on this one. But I might actually do that sooner rather than later, considering the Fantastic Four return. And I just want to stay up to date on Marvel two and one really from now on, because I've keep getting behind on it. Marvel two and one issue number six. Marvel 2-in-1 Annual, number one, regular cover, and 
Parks variant, I think, is who the artist. And since this one came before issue number seven, I put it before the read, but I got Marvel 2 1 issue number seven. Also, beautiful cover by Nick Bradshaw. Probably one of my favorite artists out there, and he's really popular around here in my area, actually. People love Nick Bradshaw around here. He's a great artist, really. Uh, if you don't like his work, I don't get you. Um. I got finally gotten caught up on Phantom again. I got number one, the second print of number one, which is a nice cover. I got Phantom number two. I got Phantom number two, Mike Del Mundo Young Guns variants, which I, I'm actually not the biggest fan of, but it's a almost virgin cover, so I'll get it. And I mean, I basically get all the variants I can anyway. And I got Phantom issue number three, which I should really stop getting so many variants because they 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 really are probably what kill me so much. So if I actually only stuck to one copy or as little fairness as I could unless they're too good to pass up, I'd probably be doing so much better and actually might be able to stay caught up. But uh, yeah, which I might just end up doing at some point. But I got Phantom Mission number three. I got another new number one slash caught up on another new series for actually two issues of it. I got, uh, I still haven't got the Deadpool ongoing number one or anything yet. And I haven't even read the issues 297 to 300, which I might not reread the full legacy run. I haven't decided yet and review it, or I might reread and review the whole legacy run. We'll see, or I might just read 297 to 300 and review those. The whole, just that story arc. We'll see how it goes. I haven't decided yet. Um, but I got Deadpool Assassin, number one of six, regular cover, and the Sankwix, Sankwix variant. I can't pronounce his name that well. And I got Deadpool Assassin. I hope the series is good, but I don't know. I'm iffy on it. Deadpool Assassin, issue number two, regular cover. And I forget the artist who does this, even though I just saw it a little bit ago, but the variant. And the second last series I caught up on in this haul uh, was... A number one I actually haven't read in a couple months, but really loved. Domino. I got the number one second print here of the cute dog. I gotta reread and review that before I can get into this, which shouldn't be too hard. It will probably happen soon because I love the number one and I want to catch, be caught up in Domino. I got Domino issue number two, uh, the first print, and I actually got the second print variant, which is like a half sketch cover. And I got Domino issue number three, only one cover of that, of course. Wasn't really any other ones, uh, but yeah, this series looks great. Flip through it, of course. I flipped through all the books. Uh, looks great. Need to reread number one. Can't wait to read it. And because of the significance, I had to save this book for last. This is probably the reason why I did the uh, the haul in this order too. So this book would be last this way because it was hard to just find out putting that some of the number ones last over this. I put them in a number order, but I had to do this because of significance. I got the Amazing Spider-Man number 801. This is Dan Slott's last issue on his run of Amazing Spider-Man, his long ass awesome run, and I'm sad to see him go. It's probably gonna be. I'm probably. I might even get a little bit emotional reading this. I love Dan Slott's Spider-Man. I'm sad to see him go. I'm actually not that excited for Nick Spencer and Ryan Otley's run. I'm excited for Otley's art, but I'm not really excited for Nick Spencer. I'm, I'm kind of even not excited for Otley's art. It almost looks like with this new upcoming series that it, it almost has a 90s vibe to it in my eyes, but I don't know. I mean, I like the 90s stuff, but it's kind of weird, the whole Spider-Man, Peter Parker stuff. And I don't know. I don't know. But, I don't know, Dan Slott's just been doing this so long, doing it so well, in my opinion, in my honest opinion, for the most part. There's some rough patches a little bit with the run before the legacy and whatever, but, yeah, the world wide, the world, the world wide run. But, yeah, it's finally over and it's a sad scene go, but it's what it is. Um, but I got, I got the Amazing Spider-Man number 801. I got the regular cover. I got the Russell Dodderman Young Guns variant, which is nice. I love his art. And I got the last of the Ramos Connecting variant. So I got the whole Ramos Connecting cover, big cover now, and it's great. Uh, it's the, the I have all the covers now, which feels great. And this runs over, and this last slot issue, so it's quite something. Yeah, that was the last comic of this haul. So anyway, guys, we're so late and I, I think I'm just going to end this and wrap this up right here. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and share if you can even share if you'd like to. Anyway, guys, I will see you all in the next video. And peace out. Bye.